I was planning on going back. I was a musician. I used to play professionally, full time. And uh, by 1958, summer, right? in fact, it was the latter part of July in 58, I was, how old was I then? 20 years old. Oh. I couldn't cope with the environment that I had to work in. What made it worse, uh, I didn't approve of this. Uh, I didn't approve of the way that the guys, uh, the musicians that I, uh, that I was working with, I didn't approve of the way they acted. I mean, I'm, I don't want to give you the wrong impression. I'm no judge and I'm certainly no Puritan. I don't have any Victorian attitude towards things. But some things are bad to me. I mean, disturb me. They disturb me. And I couldn't... It's like you cripple, you know? It's like you talented for something, but like a, an athlete, but uh, he's got a bad arm. He can't, he can't really put everything into it because this thing is hindering him. Well, this, I couldn't... I, I, I could see myself gradually not wanting to practice. I never went to church because I, if I did, I would feel like a hypocrite because of things that this certain church that I, that I was brought up in. They uh, condemned everything that I was doing. environment, you know, the, the things that bother me most is one thing I can't stand, although I see nothing wrong but once in a while going out and getting real drunk by yourself, just going to the motel, locking yourself up and taking a bottle and getting plastered. I don't see anything wrong with that, but I can't stand to say a anything about anyone. It's harmful to them and then be frank to them, you know what I mean? It was like uh, I was afraid. But what I'm afraid of, I don't know. What had really happened is I had lost it thing that I thought I really wanted to do and was really engrossed in it seemed like the bottom fell out of it. The bottom did fall out of it. It seemed like there was nothing no longer there was like there was no more tomorrow. Like this is it and that's all. I mean, the, the bright and happy days are all gone. And I had a defeatist attitude toward everything. But hmm, I didn't really look at myself that way. I was just afraid, just afraid. Frightened of everything, especially uh, in the evenings would be worse. I just I, I had an apartment alone. I could go home in the evening some work and lay down for a few minutes. And my heart would start pounding so that you could actually see it from across the room. You could actually see my shirt jump. This is not me type of physical activity, just, just laying there and seeing 20 minutes of start. And you felt this way last night? Yes, I did. But it didn't last very long, and it lasted about three hours. And then it, it gradually goes away, and now I don't have it. I didn't have it all day yesterday, up until around 6 p.m. yesterday. I mean, naturally, I know what, I think I know what really causes it, but it's from, it all stems from my feeling 
very insecure. No confidence, feeling of not being adequate, uh, not being sure of myself. And I feel like if I could build up, if I could win some battles, I could have a build a base or something. I could say I could look back, you know. Then you're not as afraid because you have confidence in knowing that you have done something. I don't feel like I've done anything. building up, but I don't know why, because I'm just staying here, really. But I'm, I've, the past few days, I've seen to have gained a lot of confidence. I know now that uh, I've got to do something, have something definite to do when I get out, whenever I get out. And uh, I've kind of narrowed down the field a little bit. What have you been thinking of? Well, you know, I have a pretty good knowledge of musical instruments. And uh, from time to time, I thought about having my own music shop. And that's what I've been thinking about. How have you reacted to this idea? I like it. I like that. I feel real enthusiastic about it and not afraid. So right now you feel there is some pressure for you to uh, make a decision and do something? Well, not, you mean, to think about this headache mm -hmm. Well, this didn't really have anything to do, as far as I know, it didn't have anything to do with, with what I'm going to do when I leave the hospital. Uh, this headache is some strain. I know it's some being too conscientious. I used to be. I used to have these headaches quite often. Uh, from having to, when I was in business with my dad, to have everything just so so. Like in building our new home, we built quite a few new homes, and we built some commercial buildings. I became real interested in construction, architecture, and things like that. And I'd have to have everything just so, so. If I didn't, I'd feel real happy. And even maybe late that evening, I'd have a real severe headache in one side and vomiting at the same time. But all, I would never have been feeling a depression. While I'm laying in bed and vomiting, I'd be real thinking, how much more, what else can I do to improve this? And looking forward to it to improve it more. You mentioned that you're feeling better today compared to previous times. Uh, in what way? Well, I don't feel as nervous. I have different moods like... It, of course, the worst of all, the worst feeling of all to me is depression. And when I'm depressed, uh, down blue, down in the dumps, uh, I don't feel nervous then. I just feel afraid. That's the worst feeling. And then sometimes I feel very uncomfortable around other people. And it's sometimes just real jittery and restless. But I don't feel either one that more. What happened last week? Last week? Yes. I had a big... Uh, misunderstanding with someone when I went out on leave. Yes. What were your feelings about that misunderstanding? Oh, I'm pretty angry. Oh, yeah. Very angry. I was... I, I, it, uh... I haven't felt this way in a long time. It, it scared me to... It's, I scared myself about being so angry. How do you react when you get angry? Real angry? Uh, the different... I don't quite understand what you mean. The different le levels of anger. Sometimes I might just get a little peeved and not say anything. 
be real on a quiet side. Well, there was something that frightened you about this reaction. It's because I wanted to kill him. Oh, I see. So this is what you were frightened of? I was frightened because I might kill him, or I might something similar might come up. Some other time, and I might have the same feeling, but I, I've got it a little bit more in focus now. Do you I, think this is what you're frightened of? Uh, we tell you there's something foreboding going to happen, or no? That's not. It's not that. It's not. I don't think it has anything to do with anything physical, like violence. It doesn't have anything to do with violence. It's just that uh, I can't. I can't really explain. It's just a feeling of insecurity, a floating anxiety. Do you feel you can control your anger? Yes, I can. But I was under a lot of strain at the time. I believe if today the same thing happened, I would feel that way at all. I think I can control my anger. But you're not sure? Not all the time. I'd say I can control, I'd say 90% of the time. Well, this is what had you somewhat frightened Yes, week. because I really felt I actually felt like killing someone. It's interesting that you felt depressed as a result of this. What? That's what I don't really understand that. I can't understand it. But I felt very depressed afterwards. Not, not guilty. You were angry with this other person. Right. And yet as a result of this, you got depressed. Very depressed. And it felt like everything for the future was just blown up, had been washed away. But I can't connect the, the two feelings because I felt I had those same types of feelings of fear of being afraid and not knowing what I, what I was afraid of before anything like this ever happened. Well, I can understand you being afraid of this feeling. Uh, destructive yeah. feeling, really. There's a lot of it is. I wonder well, if you're angry with yourself as a result I don't, of this. I'm not angry with myself. I'm sure I'm not. Because I have been angry with myself at times. I, sometimes I let people... I don't want to act small you know, or little. Because I think life is too short to be too little or too small. So I overlook a lot of things and I say, well, someone may do something that it's really, really it shouldn't do to me, but it's not too big, and so I just want to be small. I just overlook it. But then they keep coming back, and they keep coming back, and they do the same thing over and over. And I'm really not overlooking it. I didn't realize it. But I'm really just storing it all away. And when it comes out, I let it all out at once. That's interesting, isn't it? You say you store it all away. Sure. And then it blows up. And it blows up real bad rather than just say something that's uh, kind of stern. At that point, you get depressed. Right. 